What did I tell y'all? I told y'all we was going to be back here again. I told you we was going to be back here again about these damn shot contests. First of all, like and subscribe. Um, if it's the first time you're watching your video, subscribe to the channel. We're getting back to the video games. We're getting back to the video game news. Like this video if you seen, if you seen Beyonce in the shower. And do not lie. Don't lie. I know you be singing Beyonce in the shower, bro. So just like the video. Just like the video. It's okay. But shout out to Brutalism. Really one of the only channels. I'm not saying it's the only channel to watch. I don't watch a lot of 2K only channels. But he's the news channel that I like to watch. So y'all know Mike Rain be on Reddit and shit like that. So I'm assuming this is a Reddit post because I haven't seen the video. And I've only watched it up to this point so I can know when to jump in and record. So it's say Mike Wayne actually gives a little bit of insight um, here on how shot contests in 2K22 work. So let's see. AJ Easy and Sam Fam and 2K Lab. I think he actually made a post on 2K... Is what? 2K Toots. Actually okay. made a post on Reddit. Like, shout out to 2K Toots. Doing the now, here's my thing. Here's my thing. Let me tell y'all my quick opinion before we get this shit started. Here's my thing. With Contest System, I do feel like everybody in the league, in the real NBA... The majority of the shots you take are going to have some type of contest. And if you're an NBA quality player, you're going to be able to hit shots over contest. You don't have to be Steph Curry. You don't have to be. If you play in the NBA, you, you're going to need to do more than be able to hit a wide open shot. Congratulations, you can do that. But NBA quality is being able to hit shots through contest. Now, let's talk about the percentage. I don't think the percentages are right all the time. I've hit a 40% that I felt like was not a 40% at all. That I felt like should have been more like a 20% at the most. So when that happens, even though it's only registering as a, as a partial contest, I think that's why I'm greening it. It'll say 40% on the screen. And even though I don't see a huge problem greening through 40%, if, if you hit a green... I think we need to start looking at the shot more rather than looking at the contest percentage and they need to actually update the contest percentage because y'all be giving these high contest percentages and it don't be like that. The person barely get to me and I'll make it and it'll say 35% and they'll be going crazy, but it was not 35% at all. Or maybe it was 35%. Who knows? Because that means you still 70% open. If you're leaving your defender 70% open in the NBA, it's going to be a long night. It's going to be a long fucking night. So let's see. All amazing things in the 2K community. Now I'm going to have to give a little zoom action, of course. And here is Mike Wayne tweet because 2K2 is actually made showing how the shot contest works. Now I'm going to tell you how the shot contest That is a left-handed and a right-handed shooter. Could that play into the contest at all? It doesn't, Mike Wayne. It doesn't. Don't explain it. Too much time I play great defense and people are scoring 40 some percent contest on my hands. Mike Wayne, fix the shot contest system. It's broke. I'm sorry, man. It's broke. I but here's the thing. We go through this every time. Every time somebody say it's broke, every time somebody say they nerfed it, if it, t the contest system, leave it one way and people are going to have to adjust. Do I have 40%? Do I have people hit 40% on me? Yes. Is it as frequently as I would say on the internet? No, it's not. It's not. I play plenty of people that if I get a 16, 20%, they're almost always missing. And you got to feel some, some people have their jump shot really good. Y'all seen where my jump shot was in 2K20? I was hitting 40-somethings. But that's because I have found a jump shot that fits so perfectly to my hand it was almost difficult to not get a green. Now, if you're hitting 40% whites, that's a different. Because you didn't even release your shot perfectly. You didn't even do that. And you still made a 40%. Now, me personally, I've never seen a 40% white go in, a true 40% contest. But like I say, all these 40% contests are not true. I believe they add on more percentages for no reason. I believe they make 20% contest, 35% contest. We don't need to read it, but I will before you all. But 
I could go on a whole rant about the shot contest and I was one of the first people on my next channel when I was hacked was talking about them. People were like, no, the shot contest is good. But after last patch, boy, whoo, you all know it's how heated am I already. You all know it's how heated I am already, man. I said, am I already? <laughs> <laughs> okay, look at the comparison. But oh, we're the okay, so they really saying look at, look at the comparison and where the hand now, is. Seven thirty-one. Let me get, mic, get back already. to it. Let's look <laughs> oh, at the these hands. That's good. We need to read it. But wait, defense. Let's look at these hands. I actually, made a post on. Okay, I can't really see it, but it looked like in picture one he's more there, and in picture two, see, this is what I'm talking about. Picture one and picture two should not be the same contest percentage. To me, it looks like picture two. Now, this is far away. I can barely see this shit. But on picture two, it looks like that that person is getting there late and the ball is already gone. On picture one, it looks like he's, you know, he is there more. So, but on 2K, this will pop up the same percentage. Yeah. <laughs> the percentage is fooling people. I don't think there's anything wrong with the shot contest system. I think they need to redetermine what percentage is what. I really don't think there's anything wrong with the system itself. Just because somebody hits a 40% over you or this and that doesn't mean it's broken. Doesn't mean it's broken. Like I say, a lot of these people, a lot of these YouTubers, not brutalism necessarily because I haven't even seen him play before. So I can't make that determination about him. <laughs> Shit, my bad, y'all. But a lot of other allergies, that's a... Whoa. Stop. That sounds like I just snorted in a line. First of all, it's my allergies. I sniffed and I said shit. Like, don't don't do that in the comments. Delete your fucking comments. So, a lot of these people play and they lose and they need to come up for an excuse why they lose because they want to. They don't want to lose in front of their subs. They don't want to lose in front of their Twitch viewers. That's why I said 2K. Sometimes you gotta kind of take this with a grain of salt. Because it's from day to day. If they go to the park and get their ass up, they're going to say the game is broken. But if they win using broken tactics, they're not going to say anything. They're not going to say, oh, I shouldn't have won that game. Like, shout out to 2K2. Okay, so let's go back to 731. 2K community. Now, I'm going to have to give a little zoom action, of course. And here is my y'all. Now, let's get to where Butler's hand is. All right, let's see. Action right Look at the comparison of where Butler's hand is at the moment the shot leaves the shooter's hand. That's what the difference is. There are two main points where a jump shot contest is evaluated, okay? The moment the shooter leaves his feet, okay? And the moment the ball le leaves his hand, I agree with that. At takeoff, my bad, y'all. There are two main points where the jump shot contest is evaluated, the blah, blah, blah. We already read that. Um, height. Delta, ratings, badges, defender's angle between shooter and rim, which is important, and proximity are the main components. The shooter's angle and proximity, that definitely. As shot release, the same factors apply, but replace height delta with, I don't know. Where the jump shot contest is evaluated. The Let's moment see. the shooter leaves his feet and the moment the ball leaves his hand. At takeoff height data, ratings or badges, defender's angle between shooters okay. and rim. Okay, let's see what you think. Telling us, yo, you got this much percent contest of the shot. Yeah. Ain't no way. 20 and above should be going in. If someone hit a little 10%, okay, I'm with 10. Now, see, I disagree with that 1 million percent. He's saying a 20%. So he's saying if I got somebody with a 90-something three or even an 80-something three, and you only, 20% is low. 2K, y'all need to come out with that and say, hey, if you if you if you getting twenty percent contest, expect people that are good at the game to make it, or they're good with their jump shot to make it. I disagree one thousand percent that twenty percent should never go in. If I know my shot, I should be able to hit twenty percent at a good rate. You see how me and him disagree? That's why I said you got to make a contest system and stick with it. You can't change it. You can't change it. Cause let's let's pretend like I got the same amount of subs as him, and I'm saying it is, and not, he's saying it's not. Who you go with? Because my people gonna agree with me. Here, people, you gotta leave it the way it is. So I don't agree with that at all. But I'm seeing people hitting forty percent, Mike Wayne. And you gotta look and at the percent that you're open. 
20% contested means 80% open. If I can hit 80% open, then you should not be calling this a sim basketball game, in my opinion. White in. Now, that's they what I said. 40% whites. I don't you can't like explain that. And I'm like I said, once it gets up to the four, once it gets up to the 40, your window needs to be super small that it's almost luck if you get it. But like past 40 or whatever, like when you get past a little 40, 42, 43, that's when it hardly ever needs to really be going in. But like I say, a lot of time it pops up 40 and it's not 40. It's so fucking confusing. Let me know what y'all feel in the comments. Playing it every day. I'm seeing it. So please let your shot contest count for something because it's very. You do. It, it's stressful. And, here, and I keep pausing it. But having your shot contest count for something does not mean it's going to automatically. He. This is what I'm saying. He's not asking for the shot contest to count for something. He's saying when I contest a certain percentage, they should always miss. That's what that means. No. No. And y'all understand, it might be a person that take two or three shots. In part, you're not taking that many shots. This is a sim-based system. When you play in a full NBA game, even on 2K, there might be a certain amount of minutes, and that person is putting up 15, 20 shots, if you could test 40%, I guarantee you, they're going to shoot in the 30s. Maybe even lower. Maybe even way lower. So you can't go to the park where people got all these crazy badges, where people got these super high threes, where people tailored their jump shots so much that it's muscle memory. And then that's what it is. That's what this mode is. That's what this mode is. Because I don't do that a lot when I'm playing, um, when I'm playing in fucking my NBA. That don't be happening a lot to me. Playing real good defense, running around screens 10 times, contesting a shot and someone there's a white in your face like bro <laughs> now even a green i won't let a few greens pass although once he reaches up to a certain percentage he shouldn't green but yeah. i won't let a few greens pass because that means he's perfectly timed but he is the white i don't believe that it, when you get past a certain the green window should leave i believe what they doing is right as far and look at me defending 2k holy crap um the green window should get super duper small like casino game type shit to where it's luck if you're able to get it there but some people will get it there but 40% white or lates or earlies, that's one thing they can change. And that's one thing I do get sick of. I feel like uh, people hit a whole lot of contested whites. Now, if you're leaving people, now a lot of this is people don't want you to hit whites at all, whether they leave you wide open or not. And I don't agree with that either. If you if you leaving somebody wide open, you're not playing good defense. Leaving somebody wide open and trying to be late recovering and thinking that person should miss it to me is very, very, very like short sided. Like, you know, you shouldn't, you know, you shouldn't have left that person open. It's a chance they're going to make it. Or late? Woo! Brute want to shut off everything, bro. Yeah. But let me know what y'all think, man. Um, Do you agree with Mike Wayne? Or you agree with Brute when it comes to shotgun I, 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 I think I, they need to do something. I agree with Mike. It. I agree with Mike because he breaks it down more. It can't just be a moment of, oh, I feel like this should happen, or I feel like that should happen. Um, I feel like white shouldn't do this, or I feel like white shouldn't do that. It's more than that. You got to look where the hand is. You got to look where it is. You got to look at the quickness of the jumper. It's a lot of shit that's, that's going. But I love brutalism, but the fact that he said he don't think 20% should ever go in, me and him can't, me and him on two opposite sides, which is okay. But like I said, 2K, this is why you need your polls. This is why you need it. Don't listen to a YouTuber. A poll will come out, and if a YouTuber don't agree with it, he'll jump up and say, you guys are, it don't matter. You, It don't matter. If you're on the other side, that that's, that's, and a poll is not in favor of you, so what? And I will be saying this when I grow and get huge, too. Everybody has to matter. Let me know how y'all feel about this. I'll holler y'all later.